This video is going to show you how to find the voltage used by and the current through each resistor in a circuit of resistors. There are four steps to doing this. The first step is going to be to reduce the circuit to a single resistor. We did that in the previous video. The second step is to work backwards across the paper from right to left carrying either voltage or current depending upon if the resistors are in series or parallel. We're going to talk more about number two in just a moment. And the third step is to use Ohm's law, V equals IR, to find either the voltage used by each resistor or the current through each resistor, whichever one we didn't carry over. And the fourth step is just simply to repeat steps two and three. Back to step two, resistors in series have the same current. That's our definition of what goes on, or result of what goes on with resistors in series. Resistors in parallel drop the same voltage. We use the word drop because that means, to a physicist, that means use up the same voltage. So in our language, it drops that voltage. So if resistors are in series, we carry the current. If resistors are in parallel, we're going to carry the voltage over. Series, the current, parallel, will be the voltage. All right, this was the original question. Find the voltage used by and the current through each resistor, and here's our, our circuit to start with. In the previous video, we already worked it down to a single resistor doing all these steps. Now I'm going to get rid of the, the blue work, so I have some space to show you some new math. On your paper, you would have lots of space, so you can fill this in without having to erase anything. So here's all the, the circuit down to a single resistor. And we're going to focus, to begin with, going across the paper from right to left. So we're going to start with a 20 ohm resistor on the far right. Coming down to 120 volts at the top, 0 volts at the bottom. Therefore, the difference in voltage is 120 volts, and it's 20 ohms. So if I use Ohm's law to find the current, I would say V equals IR, 120 volts equal I times 20 ohms. So I is equal to 6 amps. I knew the voltage across it was the same as the terminal voltage of 120 volts. It's 20 ohm resistor, so I'm just looking for I. So now I have the current. Now I've got to look back and figure out what kind of circuit made the 20 ohms. Well, I just made all this stuff on the paper, so I know that that all came from this collection of resistors in series. In series, the current stays the same by definition. So for us, that means that the 6 ohms, or the 6 amps that's on the 20 ohm resistor, will be copied to all these other resistors because they're all going to be the same. So I know the resistance, I know the current, and i got to find the voltage using Ohm's law for each of these resistors. So the change in voltage is equal to I times R, so delta V is equal to 6 amps times 5 ohms. So the first resistor uses up 30 volts of the 120 volts it was given at the top. So 120 at the top minus 30, it's now at 90. And then I continue this process using Ohm's law for the remaining resistors. And I do all these calculations using Ohm's law. Now when I'm looking at my other resistors, I can see that I have some resistors that are repeated from right to left, like the 5 ohms. The 5 ohms, if I look at it, you can see that it's the same everywhere, 5 ohms, 5 ohms. So all I do is take my values and I'm copy them over. For the 8 ohm resistor, it's the same resistor from right to left, so I'll just copy my values over. And for the 2 ohm resistor, it's the same 2 ohm resistor, so it'll be the same values, so I'll just copy them over and rewrite them. Now I have them for everywhere that I need them. Now let's focus on the analysis. I've got the 6 and the 30 ohm resistor. They're in parallel, and they make up the 5 ohm resistor. So in parallel, the voltage stays the same. So the voltage of the 5 ohm resistor is copied to the 30 ohm resistor and the 60 ohm resistor, because in parallel, the voltage stays the same. Now I use Ohm's law, V equals IR, to find the missing value, which in this case is the current. And so for the 30 ohm resistor, it's 1 amp. For the 6 ohm resistor, it's going to be 5 amps. So now I know 1 amp and 5 amp for each of those resistors. Looking back, I can see the 6 ohm resistor is the same resistor, doesn't change, so I'll take my values and copy them over. And then that means I've got to find out the 13 and the 17. Well, they're in series, one after another, and I know that resistors are in series have the same current. Since they made the 30 ohm resistor, the current of the 30 ohm resistor is copied to the 13 and the 17. And then I use Ohm's law, V equals IR, delta V equals IR, to find the voltage for each of these resistors. And now I have the voltage and the current for each resistor on the original circuit on the left. 